Well, hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's been kind of a long day today. Um, I actually, we tried to go to the pool earlier. We did, but we sat there with towels over our heads because it started to pour down rain. So we sat there for a while, then it thundered, so everybody had to leave. We stopped by somewhere, and I got a drink. I said, come on, just take me home. We'll try it again tomorrow. So when I got home, it was time to mow. So I finished the backyard and went to the front yard, took a, took a rest, got out there, and within the last three or four rows, it started pouring. It was hysterical. Um, so I got it done. I was like, yay. So I got that done in, bet in between the rainstorms. And so what I'm going to do right now is start on the last of this little box that I had that came in the other day. And it, it was only a couple pounds. Um, there's a lot of stuff that's not the best. But um, we'll do this so that I can get started on the sterling because I have quite a bit. Um, and we'll try to see what we can't get done right now and try to get it done quickly and um, I don't think there's anything sterling in this. I haven't really gone through it. Um, should be, you know, pretty quick. So if you don't mind, we'll go ahead and get started. And um, it's just on the tray right here, and I'll just grab something. And it wasn't bad. It just there wasn't much in it, and what was in it wasn't, you know, it just wasn't fabulous. This is pretty. I like the chains. I like all kind of stuff like that with mesh, and I don't know where that comes from. And this is marked. Huh. Let me check it. Let me check it real quick here. Um, oh, this is Daisy Fuentes. Fancy. But it's really kind of cool. It's really kind of cool. Um, let's see, I'll grab the tiny. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Um, it's got an extender on it. These are pretty. That needs to go in there. But you can take them off and turn them around. So that goes in there. But it's no big deal. So that's really cool. Isn't that neat? Whoa, come back here. Yeah, it's fluidy. It's pretty. Okay, let's measure real quick. It is right at 16 inches. Wonderful. So let's just put three on this. And it's light, you guys. It's not very heavy. So we'll do that. I've got the bubble wrapped down so I don't get this white so dirty. But then i got a bunch of stuff over here. Let's see. Let's stick that there. Okay. There we go. Much better. Okay. Let's do a... This is beautiful. This is a... Just a medallion pendant. Um, it came just like this. There was no... I don't think there's a chain for it. But it's definitely a Celtic knot. It's really pretty. I thought somebody might like that. It is a gunmetal gold tone. Very pretty. No marks on it or anything. So we'll put three on that. That's that's really cool. That would look really good. The beautiful chain. I just don't have anything that big. I don't think. I'll be thinking about it. Oh. I got some cute stuff in here, really. Okay, next is a silver tone. And it's got a cat's eye bead. It's pretty cool. Isn't that neat? There is not much wear on this one at all. It looks very, very nice and clean. Um, let's look at the back. It does have a little boo-boo, a little scratch. I don't think it matters. Um, let's put two on this. It's cute. I like it. And it is 
17 and a half. No, not, not that long. This is, sorry guys, I saw the seven and got happy. This is uh, 15 inches. Okay. No, no, I've showed you guys this. Well, I can show it again. This was just on the tray earlier. This is just a very vintage piece. It reminds me of like a Sarah Coventry or something, but I think it's even, you know, it's old. I'll show you the back. There and here. And I probably should put this with my vintage stuff, but so what it does is you can, you know, you could put this on one side and this on the other to hold a shawl or, you know, something like that. So I'll put three on it. I'll show it to you up close. It's really cute. So I'll put three on that. Next, I have a baby. We have a baby. We had a baby. I mean, we have a baby. You guys want to see the baby for a minute? Hi. What are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? Whoa, howdy. <laughs> he just about <laughs> jumped in your lap, didn't he? Hi, baby. Oh, my goodness. What are you doing? Jumping on your camera. Oh, you got something on your eye. Uh -oh. Hi. He's smiling. What you got in your eye? What you got out of your eye? I know it's going to fall all the way down. Mm -hmm. What you got out of your eye? What is that? Hold on, guys. We got a, we got a hair or something in his eye. got a in your eye? Uh-oh, can't do that. My nails are too long. Watch out. Just give me a little fist. Okay, that's enough for you. Nope. Can't get mm -hmm. it. Down there. He's happy about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, try it. Oop, nope. I think. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Good job. There we go. There we it's go. It's still there, but that's battle. It's okay. Say hi to everybody. Wanna say hi. Give them a smile. Say they're messing with my eye. Give them a smile, baby. They're messing with my eyes. Say, tell these ladies to leave me alone. Give them a smile. <laughs> yeah. Say hi, ladies. Look at yourself in the camera. Look right here, huh? He's just so busy staring at me. Oh, uh, it's okay. Look. Yeah. What is that? Huh? Can you say? Hi guys. So I am just getting up from a nap. What is that? Say hi guys. Say hello. Say hi. So I've been good. Now I'm getting big. So I'm getting big. Hi baby. Say hi. Tell them hi. Give them that smile. Yeah. yeah. Good yeah, job. So cute. You're such yeah. a sweetie pie. And he's yeah. so good. Go. Sometimes I'll be doing my jewelry and he's just sitting on my lap and you guys don't even know. Isn't that cool? Say bye. Tell him bye. Good. Take a go. Tell him bye. Pshh. Okay. Say pshh. You ready to go? Say, Come and get me, Mama. Pshh. <laughs> Come on, get you ready? Ready? Get going. Oh, look at that kid. In here, mess. Here we go. Me, I happy dude. <laughs> happy feet. Little crazy legs. Yeah. <laughs> crazy legs. Okay, the next piece I have. Thanks for bringing him in, Shay. Um, is a Chico's piece. It does have, have a little bit of wear on the chain there. Um, it's on the extender. But it's really pretty. It is actually, let me show you real quick. I am crooked. Nah, oh no. Okay, there we go. Let me put it on here for you guys to see. Isn't that pretty? And we've got Chico's written there, and then we've got the little heart. And it is really cute. It's got patterns on these pieces. And some of them have little rhinestones. 
right there and these just darling little patterns it's just cuter in a button so i'm gonna put three on this just because of the wear i love chico's you know i do um this is right at 16 inches i think without the extender it would be about 15 and a half but for three dollars i mean come on it's worth it it's just darling okay next let's see let's do a bracelet Ooh, look at this this is different Wow, it's like copper, brass, you know. I don't see anything on it. Let me see if I can open this a little. It always worries me. This is really pretty. I just hit a nerve. That's what my mother always used to say. You just hit a nerve. You're getting on my last nerve. I'm like, I always wanted to say something smart. Um, I think that, I don't know. This is just fabulous. But I don't know why that's like that. That should be, hold on guys. That should be a V, not a square. Okay, let's see if it'll work. If I can get it. Yeah, I'll show you what I'm looking at. All right there it looks like it needs to be like someone might have tried to glue it and it needs to be glued dang it this is pretty well i'll put it over the side and see if i can't do something with it but all the rest of the rhinestones that i can see are there now on the edge wow what is that Hold on, it's a little piece of plastic or something stuck in there. Um, as you can see on the edges, there is, that's where the Y, you know, the V or whatever it is starts. And it goes all the way around and all of them are fine except for that one. Isn't that pretty though? From a distance, you look like you have on diamonds. So, I'm going to work on this one and see if I need to um, re-glue that piece or what needs done. And if anybody's interested on it, in it, just email me and I'll try to see. I'll let you know what happened and what needs to be done and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's weird. I, I don't understand that one. Yeah, it's, it like sticks out. So I'll set it over to the side. You know, I can fix things sometimes. Okay, then we have, oh, these two are so cute. When I was setting them out, I was like, oh my gosh. Okay, what we have is like tourist necklaces. I think these are both necklaces for me. Is that, no, that's right. Where'd it go? Um. This one is, I think, Paris. And then the other one, if I can find it, is New York. But I don't see it. Hmm. I mean, there, there it is. It was under the bigger. These things are darling. And I, I know they're just inexpensive. Little bitty thing. See, even the camera's cute. There's your music note. There's a pretty rondelle there. Star. Of course, you've got Paris, uh, the Eiffel Tower. There is your little bows. Then for New York, you uh, the New York one is darling. You've got a cab right here with the little blue bow. A heart. You've got the Eiffel Tower. You've got a heart. And I think that is, I don't know if that's a passport or what that's portraying to be. Then another heart. Then you have an airplane and a camera. 
I thought I would sell these two together, and I thought I'd put six on it. And if nobody wants them, I'll probably work on them um, and make a couple bracelets or something from them. They're just too cute. And there are no maker marks on those. They're just too cute. Just costume pieces, but I just thought they were darling. Here's another cuff. It's kind of interesting. I don't know if you can see that texture as well. I don't. Let's see. I don't see anything marked on this. I think it's probably. Oh, God. Um, it's a silver metal alloy or whatever. I don't think it's. I don't know what it is. I don't think it's brass. Man, it's pretty. It might be. Let me see if I get some tarnish. Oh, yeah. I think this would be really neat if it was just shined up a bit. Yeah, that's cool. This is nice. And it will get smaller. You can tighten it up, which I won't do, but easy on, easy off. It's lightweight. It's not real heavy. So I will just put three on this. I was trying to see if this might be silver plated, but the way it's stuck to that magnet, I doubt it. No, I'm just rubbing that little dark spot there. Yeah, it's a little dirty. Okay, so let's put three on this, and it is probably about a seven, size seven. Seven and a quarter. You wouldn't want to go too much bigger than that. It's really cute. I love the texture, like I said. See that little spot there? I think it just needs wiped. Just needs a wiper. I just had something. Oh, wow. It cleaned up quick. Hmm. This is pretty. So that's three on that one. Next we have this little leather. I think this might be faux leather because that's kind of soft on the inside. It looks brand new. Um, it is eight inches at the first, a little under eight inches at the first snap. At the second snap it's right at seven. So I think I'll put three on this. It's in great shape. Okay. Oh, this is pretty. Hmm. That's really pretty. It's little. It's got little cabochons. Let's see. Hmm. Let me show you. Isn't that pretty? And it's movable. I like that. That's so pretty. It could go bigger. So that's about seven and a half, I would say. So we'll put four on that one. That's gorgeous. All the little rhinestones are there. That's cool. So I'll put four. I have no idea what those are, but they're kind of cool. Okay. Next. Oh, we have a little cutie. It is... You guys, it's, um, what do you call it? Where it changes with the 
Peter, your body. Isn't that cute? A little butterfly. I love it. When I'd get rings like this, we would just go nuts. We used to really like them. I don't know. These might not be that, though. I don't see them changing. Hmm. I think the butterfly is. Yeah, the butterfly is definitely changing. Isn't that cool? So, just because it's cute, let's do, I don't know, let's do three on it. It is 15 inches. It's cute. Yeah, I don't think the two top beads are, but they might be. Um, yeah, that's cute. Okay, we have a pretty little charm bracelet. It's on a really nice, uh, kind of like a Rolo chain. Oh, you guys, I'm wearing my, one of my charm bracelets that I made that didn't sell. Isn't that pretty? We've got Winnie the Pooh. We've got the sorority there. We've got a butterfly. We've got the Bible. We've got this little bell with a real pearl. We have a flip-flop. We have a beautiful dragonfly with a moonstone. Then we have a wine glass. Everybody needs a wine glass. Then we have Mexico 925 little dangle there. That's just sweet as a button. Then we have a beautiful turquoise cross. Then we have an emoji. Little happy face. Isn't that funny? Then we have a palm tree. That is beautiful. Then we have a little malachite heart. And this one is still for sale. And like I had spoke to a couple people, they say they used to do $10 a charm um, and then charge for the charm bracelet. So it would be, if that was the case, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, so there's 13 charms. So that'd be a, a 130 plus, maybe 50 or 60 for the sterling chain charm bracelet itself. And so I'm thinking to myself, well, that means, you know, what if somebody gets this and they want to change some of them out or they want to add more or whatever, you know. So what I put on this was $100. And, you know, I talked to a couple of my friends and they were, well, that, you know, it's not, that's not a bad price, but it should be more, but I'm just going to keep it at that. So if anybody's interested in this one, please let me know. It is longer. It is a toggle. So you could very easily get this sized, you know, at the jeweler. At an inexpensive jeweler, it doesn't have to be the most fancy jeweler in town. This is a seven and a half, and it is lighter weight. This is not heavy like my other one. And I'll probably show this again tomorrow when I do my sterling sale. So it's not hard at all to put it on. Some are, this one is not, not at all. You take it through the ring and pull it from the other side and push down and it's on it's that quick and it sounds very pretty now my other one is it's heavy this is not my original one this is one I made not too long ago this sucker is heavy And it's got some really cute things on it. It's got, and I've got more stuff to put on it. It's just ridiculous. I've got K for my grandson. We have a, what is that? Is that a horse? Oh, a puppy. Then we have Cupid. Then we have the teddy bear. He 
he's articulated. Then we have, who is this? Oh, the ukulele Hawaii girl. Then we have a fairy. Then we have a flag, Jamestown, which I've been to. Then we have the, um, what is it called, the monument in Washington, D.C., where I've been. This one is the St. Louis Arch, which I've been many times. This is the violin Chanel used to play. Here's a one-armed bandit, which I've been to many casinos in my day. Um, there's a star. Here's a butterfly. Now, here's the Apollo capsule. I was alive for the first one. I don't remember John Glenn going up. I was too tiny. Here is another, isn't that funny? Another palm tree. There's the state of Florida right there. Then you have a cross. Then you have the crab. My daughter's a Cancer. Then you have Disney World, which I've been to. Then you have the um, Cannon, which would be Gettysburg, which I've been to. And I just thought this was so pretty. It says a date to remember. And there's really no date. So I could always put maybe King's birthday on it. Um, then we have a ballet dancer. I took ballet for years and years. And then we're back to um, King's initial. Okay. So, like I said, this is much heavier than this one. So, and more stuff will probably be going on it. But like I said, when I start my sterling my sterling sale I'll probably put this back in but it's on sale it's being sold for a hundred okay this is just a regular little costume piece it's really cute so we've got earphones we've got sunglasses I think this is Tennessee State is what it looks like and you've got a wine a lady in a wine glass I don't know why that's with Tennessee State or Texas, I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh. I don't know. Then that's somebody's picture. I have no idea. That is different. That is somebody's picture, guys. Wow. I have no idea if it's just random. It looks like somebody famous. I don't know who that is. It looks like somebody famous. I don't know. Then we've got music and a microphone and a black rose. That's neat. So it is approximately seven and a half inches. And I just think it's cute. And you can take some of these off, put different ones on. Um, so I'll just put five on that because it's, it's a really nice bracelet. I'll show you the lobster. And this could be even shortened just by hooking it here, you know what I mean, instead of hooking it on the end. Could hook it there. So, that's five on that one. Sorry I got off on a roll going elsewhere. Okay, this is cute. This says Japan. And I've never seen one from Japan. So this is definitely vintage. It says Japan right there. And I thought it was very interesting. Very interesting. So it's obviously enamel. It's a blue. So I'll put, it's interesting, I'll put four on it. And if this one doesn't sell, this can go in with my vintage stuff. So I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, we've got these two. This is what my mother used to wear to keep her sleeves up. When she had long sleeves, I wanted them to be three quarter length. Then we have this another start of an Italian bracelet here. This one has crosses. It's pretty cool. So I'll just do these both together. 
and we'll put three dollars on these three dollars for both okay oh we have an oh my god no i'm not selling this one this has a doggy with a hand and a chain oh my god i'll show these to you mickey and minnie no i'm not these are so cute LA and it's a bag. Oh my gosh. I don't know if this one's old or not, guys. This puppy has red eyes and there's a hand and a chain. This is a very nice bracelet also. Then we have a snowflake, which I hate snow, but I love snowflakes. Then we have Mickey and Minnie and that is the back of them. How cute is that? And they're on an anchor. And that is the front of them. There is a little rhinestone heart. And this must be like a trip to Los Angeles. I do believe. Wait a minute. It says LA. I don't know. That kind of looks. Oh, you've got a bus. Oh, okay. You've got LA and then New York is the heart and then I do believe that is Paris. That's the Eiffel Tower and then we got a bus there. Yeah, this is really, really cute. So I'm gonna put this one aside. Yeah, some of these are actually, they come right off. See what I mean? They're clipped on. That one, this one. This one. Yeah, these are all clip-ons. So, I would sell the bracelet. I don't know if anybody would be interested. Um, the bracelet without the charms is... It's right at 7 inches. The charms come off very simply. Um, yeah, I think this one is sterling. Let me check. Let me check. Not funny. I said something. What does that say? You guys are not going to believe this. You are not going to believe this. This is a Monet charm. And it says so right there on the ring. I wonder if I like it. Let's check on this other one. I don't know what that is. I don't think that is much of anything. This one looks older. Yeah, it has something written. Hold on here. This is sterling. This is 925. Wow. Yeah, you guys need to really check your stuff. And I didn't because I just pulled all this stuff out of the bag. Um... Let's see here. Uh, this um, heart is 925. I don't think this LA one is, though. It is cute. I don't think it is. It was just kind of an add on, I do believe. And I don't believe this bracelet is anything. Mm -mm. But yeah. I am so glad I checked that. Yeah, so we have a Monet and two Sterling. This is the Monet. This is nothing much. This is Sterling, supposedly. And so is that. Hmm. Man, that's to show you how good these are. These magnets are. Stop it. Hang it. Yeah, it's not. It's, is it? No. That one's not. Yeah, I'm going to have to work to get these off. Because they are really, really on there. And that's um, They're on there so tight. I don't even know how they got them on there. So, I'll put this over to the side. 
I'm just shocked. That is just so cool. Okay. Anyway, well, that was fun. Next, we have a bracelet that looks kind of vintage. It's nothing fabulous. It's got some wear to it, so I think we'll just sell this for a dollar and I'll put it into crafts. It's like a S, almost a Figaro, kind of different, but it's it's kind of faded and has a funny feel to it. So we'll just put this over to the side there. Um, I'm excited, guys. I don't usually get anything nice in these crazy boxes. You know, I see people pulling out $400, $500 things. I'm like, what? I'm like, why? Why can't I have some real gold come out of my boxes? Never. Now, nah, I've gotten some pieces that were very nice, but I don't think I've ever got anything that was worth $500. There is that. This is really, really cute, guys. I am not going to lie. This is, like, fabulous. It even has, it, it's got a sound all its own. Let me see if this says something. I don't think it does. You would think somebody that goes through the trouble to make this would have a maker mark on it. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. Listen to it. This is beautiful. This has not been wiped. It hasn't been touched. It looks brand new. The back is just as good as the front. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I really like it. This is almost like an Egyptian Cleopatra. This reminds me of that bracelet. It was in um, the movie Rear Window. And Grace Kelly wore this bracelet, and I've never been able to find one even close. Even I can't get a close enough picture to make one, but it had dangles on it like this. They were about this size, but they were gold tone. Probably, probably solid gold for all I know. But she wore it for quite a bit of the movie, and I was just mesmerized by it. And um, they were about this size. And they were like stacked side by side around the whole charm, you know, the whole chain of the bracelet. And it is, it, it's just beautiful. That reminds me of it. And it had a sound to it too. It was really pretty. So I'm put six on this because I really like it. I should put more, but oh well. Isn't that pretty? Just love it. Okay, next we've got, well, this is fancy. Wow. This is really neat. This has got texture. Fluid texture. I've said fluid too much, sorry. But it is, it's got beautiful texture. The silver tone is great. Has maybe a tiny bit of wear on this right here. I don't know if I can show it to you or not. Just right there. But this is very unusual. I'm hoping that's a car. Because <laughs> it's loud. But this is cool. I like this. So let's put three on this. I think somebody could take this apart and make something out of it. And it is approximately 18 inches. So it's a nice size, but I love these rings. I think they're so cool. Okay, that's enough of the thumping and bumping. We don't... You know. Okay, this is a cute bracelet. Lauren by Ralph Lauren. Um, yeah, this is nice. Now, this would be a nice starter for a charm bracelet. I don't believe it's anything fancy, you know. I wish it was. That would be great. But I don't think so. I think it would be marked 10 times over. 
if it was 925. It's really pretty though. This thing is in excellent condition. It says Lauren Ralph Lauren here. There's beer on the back. It doesn't say anything. I think that's just, you know, it's just scuffy. It looks good. There's the ring. It is approximately seven inches. So it's pretty nice. Pretty nice. It's a pretty, um, I like this tone of sterling or silver tone. It's almost a sterling color, you know. It's a light silver. So let's put three on that one. Okay. What's this? Oh, I thought this was interesting, you guys. I have no idea who made this. It is kind of that Arpel, you know. Van Cleef and Arpel design. Look at the bottom. I don't know. There is no maker mark. It is really, really pretty. It does have some wear on the back of this. It's not bad, though. See, it's got just the tiniest bit of wear. But, I mean, it's so pretty. I'll put it on and show it to you. <laughs> oh, boy. You guys, I'm allergic to grass, so whenever I <laughs> mow, I just suffer. It's horrible. <laughs> Aren't I a big weenie? I'm just a weenie. Okay. Now, this does have a little wear, but it might be nothing more than just cleaning. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? I just think it's so cool. And it'd be hanging. Yeah, I like this. So this could be anywhere between a six, seven, eight. <laughs> you know. Seems to be nice and tight as far as the like the Shambhala type of um the metal closure there. See, I'm pulling on it. Yeah. I think this just needs a little wipe down. Um, let's just put three on it. I think that's great. It's pretty. Yeah, I get real raspy and yeah, awful. Is this hematite? Oh, this is pretty though. This is hematite and what looks like quartz. It almost looks like, um, oh, uh, the stuff that the, um, cat's eye is made out of. Which I think cat's eye is a quartz that's cut a certain way and just polished. Um, this is pretty, though. It just needs to be straightened out. It's very pretty. There we go. Ta-da! That's different. So we'll put three on that. It is approximately 17 inches. That's nice. Hematite in. And it doesn't seem to be magnetic. It's not sticking to itself. Mm -mm. So does that, I think that means that the hematite is man not man-made. Man-made hematite is supposedly um, magnetic. But the stuff that's pulled out of the ground is not magnetic. Now, I might be totally wrong. I might be completely out of my mind. No. Okay, this is law. And it looks a bit older. It's pretty. Goodness. This is super long. It is, let's see, about 32 inches all the way to 36, maybe. This is pretty because it's like a very light, kind of a silvery gold tone, like a satiny gold tone. And you've got the uh, rope chain there. Let's see if I can get it untangled here. It's not really tangled. It's just kind of inside itself. Is that better? Or is that worse? Man. I'm too OCD to just let it go. Just let it go, lady. Just let it go. Anyway. It's really pretty. 
it's really pretty. Um, yeah, you know, it started storming again here a little bit ago. I'm like, man, is it ever going to stop? And then it just heats up tomorrow. And after it gets up to about 92, then it storms again. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. But that's the way it goes in the summer. It's like being in Florida, storming every day. This is pretty. These have little light, light blue, almost like crystals because they're cold. Little bitty ones. And then gold tone here. This is pink and a AB wash deeper color and then kind of a cream. These are glass. These are glass here. Very pretty. I think they're glass at the bottom too. So I really like this, guys. Let's put, I don't see any wear. Let me show you real quick. It's not wear. I don't know. It's just lighter. You know what I mean? It's just not a real deep gold tone. Yeah, that's really pretty. Let's put four on the loft. It's nice and long. Okay, we can do this one. I think this is just so cool. I don't know which side is front. I think this is the front. Yeah. This is cool. It does have a little wear on the back. Might even have some wear through here, but I just think it's cool. It's got a nice extender on it. There is no maker mark on it. I'll show it to you up close. I just think it's neat. Very, very cool. Very nice. Um, show you the back. To me, this looks a little more gold tone, and this looks lighter, but maybe that's how it's supposed to be. You know? Who am I to say? I like it, though. I think it's really cool. I'm not going to put very much on it, just because it's got some little issues here and there um it is about let's say 15 inches with this extender so let's do three on this one i just think it's great it's not really heavy it's it's heavy but it's not super heavy it's very well made it's cool never thought about that design that's a neat design okay let's don't let's don't this is so pretty, guys. I worked on this for quite some time. It was tangled. Stop it. Oh, my God. Don't do it. Don't do it to me. Okay. Did I mess it up again? Oh, God. Say no. Just say no. To drugs. Oh, too much. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe if I do it like this. Get your finger in there. Is that good? Oh my gosh, you guys. I had this all fixed. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> this is crazy. It was just laying here. It wasn't like, you know... It wasn't like anybody moved it to make it get all messed up again. Oh, I fixed it. I think I fixed it. Okay, this is really pretty. I've got to see what's front, what's back. Can't tell. This is just gorgeous. Let's just do it like this. What do you think? Isn't this beautiful? I'll do it just like this. This can be twisted. It can be straightened out. It's very easy to do. You just have to sit down and do it. Once you get it straight, it'll stay that way. Um, like I said, you can see here. You just straighten it out because they're all on rings. So it's very simple to do. I think it's beautiful. 
it is the, um, yeah, it's that. It hooks in there, of course. It's a toggle. Uh, this is 16 inches, so it's not a real super choker. But look at that. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Let me raise it up. I want to see the shine. It is shiny and pretty. So I'm going to put five on it. I just think it's really, really neat. And if I ship it to you, I'll fix it to where it won't get all tangly. Just beautiful. Look at the, look at that. Sparkle, sparkle. Okay. We're getting, we're getting to the end. We're almost done. We have another one of the um, mood rings here. It is. As a matter of fact, let's do a freebie. If anybody wants the mood ring, let me know. I will definitely throw it in their pile. Now look, I'm not doing what I said I would do. I'm going to set this over to the side so whoever might want it. I put it on one of my mannequins over here so it will not get messed up. Okay. And I looked for a maker mark and did not find one. Which I thought was kind of unusual because it's awfully pretty. And I don't think it's new. I think it, you know, I think it's been around for a minute. Okay, this is Avon. It's, it's made well. Um, this is iconic for them as far as the butterfly. Let me see if it has a bunch of um, scratches or not. You know, it's not bad. It really isn't. I wiped it off. This has three extenders on it. That is the Avon tag. Right there. Not pretty. Okay, so what we'll do is... It is right. It's probably a little over 16 inches. And this is real pretty. Look at the back. The back is pretty. It's got a really neat pattern. Okay, so let's do four on this. Yeah, it's in really good shape. The fact that it's not in a box or anything, it's in really great shape. Okay. Got a pendant that is beautiful. I thought it was Leah Sophia. It is not marked. I just think it's beautiful. <laughs> it's nothing big, but it's kind of a hammered silver tone. Isn't that beautiful? Yep. Kind of catches the eye. It is approximately three inches. And it is two and a half inches wide. And it's not real heavy. But it reminds me of a Chico's or a Leah Sophia. And I think it's really pretty. So we'll put three on that. We have a beautiful, you guys, this, this bracelet is gorgeous. There are no micro marks. I was so shocked that there are none. This thing is gorgeous. It is just beautiful. Give it a wipe down here. Put it across my... Look at this. It is in great shape. It is not lightweight. Um, it has kind of brightness designs on it. If you can see them. It has the line here on either side. It is thick. It is beautiful. If it wasn't for the fact that I need another bracelet, like I need a hole in the head, I would keep it. Okay, there is a place where you can clip it that would be right at about seven, a little over seven and a half. And if you put it in... The big spot, it'd be about seven and a quarter. So it is larger. Like if I was to put it on, I would still have room, about an inch. So this baby here is $10. It's worth every penny. It's gorgeous. It's like a watch band with these things. Guess you could take one off and shorten it up. That is so cool. Yeah, you could take one off 
You'd want to take the right one. Uh, I guess you would take the end one. Yeah. Just beautiful. So that one's 10 because it's so pretty. Um, this is real nice. This is a little pendant. And it is made by PC. And I don't, I tried to look it up. I couldn't find it. Um, I didn't know if maybe it was um, from the UK or something, but it's just darling. Show it to you here. There is the pendant. It is, looks like it is super well made. You have a triple extender where you can extend it in three different areas. It is in gorgeous condition. I'll show you the PC real quick. Right there. Let's see. Where is it right there? Oh, no, of course. Come on. There is the PC right there. There are the three extenders. There's one there, two, and three. The silver tone is fabulous. I'll show you the pennant itself. It actually has something written at the bottom. I think it's got PC on it again. No, I don't know what that is. Um, I am not for sure. Okay, don't start. Thunder. No more storms. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea if this is something that I'm losing my mind about. I don't know. Okay, I must... I, I just don't think so. Could this be rhodium? Plated sterling. Mm. I'm getting messed up. It makes me mad when I'm not sure. Now I don't see anything written on it. Now this this little piece down here has um, H V N V. Uh, no, envy. Um, HV. I don't know what that means. HV. Okay. Well, I was going to put $8 on it anyway, just because it's so pretty and it's so summery. It's just darling. So we'll put 8 on it. Maybe it's something really nice, you know, much nicer than what I'm thinking. So might get a bargain. Bargains are nice. Okay, we're almost done. And this one's just a cute little pendant. I kind of like it. I don't think that ring is anywhere near. Is it close? No, I don't know what I did. Yes, it is. Look what a good, look how good that matches. I mean, it's just, you know, nothing fancy. Just costume jewelry. This is the one that has the um, really nice, like, um, comfort band thing in there. And it is at, right at a size seven and almost an eight. It's right at an eight. But I thought, when I saw this, I thought about this. So maybe I put these two together um, as a set. This has got a nice cord on it. It's leather. It's got a leather cord. I don't see any writing. I'll show you the back real quick. So the cord is right at 16 inches, which is wonderful. This, this piece here is real soft. It won't scratch you. This is the back of the pendant. It's kind of a satin, more of a satiny finish. Um, I don't think it's brand new either, but it looks great. So I'll put this and the ring together. The ring is a size 8. We'll do it like this. We'll do 6 and 6 or 10 for the set. 
So it's six dollars, six dollars, ten for both. How's that sound? Okay, we're right at an answer. Let's get a move on. I've been goofing around. Okay, this is another. This is Avon again. SP. This is a teeny tiny tag. Yes, Avon SP. This is really pretty. It's gold and silver tone. There is no wear that I can see on here. I'll show it to you real quick. Silver and gold, just kind of, just a very nice. It's 16 inches and it could go up to 18 very easily. So I'll put three on that one. Then we have this one and it's cute as a button. It does have a little wear on it, on the chain. Um, this might be good for crafts. I'll show it to you real quick and I'll put this as a craft piece. It's not that bad. This is neat. Somebody could take this off and make a necklace out of it. It's just this chain is not the best. And it's vintage. Looks like it. So we'll put that as a craft piece for a dollar. And it is about 36 inches. Okay. Then we have... Uh, we have another one that's very lightweight, but it's pretty. It's, the silver tone on this is really nice. I'll see if I see an opening. Yes, it does have a nice lobster. It looks pretty new. This is really pretty. And these little satellites, they move. They're kind of cool. So we'll put three on this one love it. This one is pretty. This looks very vintage. But it's got a lobster. That's what that's confusing to me. But it could still be vintage. This is almost like a filigree. Very lightweight silver tone filigree. The little rhinestone in the center. And it's got kind of a satin finish. Very nice looks good good condition so we'll do three on this one and it should be right at 18 no it's 20 20 inches very nice okay Put that over there um we have a stainless steel figaro necklace it actually says stainless steel it is almost 18 Yes, it's right at 18 inches, and it does say stainless steel right there on the lobster. It looks brand new. It's nice. I'm going to put five on it. Look at the shine. It's a very silver stainless. It's very pretty. It looks like sterling. And these are nice because it'll never tarnish. It'll never wear. You know, stainless is a wonderful material. Isn't that pretty? Alrighty. Just about there. Okay, this one is a, what I do believe is vintage. I don't see a mark on this. I do see some wear though. So let's put this for a dollar. It is pretty cool. It, this goes up and down, and I think what it is, this was sitting someplace and made it dark, so this might clean up. This is really cute. This is like a lariat. The lariat goes up and down anywhere you want it, and it's approximately probably about 36 inches, maybe a little longer. Like I said, it moves. So, since it does have some wear, let's just do a dollar on this. That is a complete giveaway there. Okay, we have Cat's Eye. We have... This is 
AEO, very lightweight. AEO right there, very lightweight. Silver tone little heart. It's really cute. There is little wear, but we'll do this one for a dollar. And it is about 18 inches. So we'll do that one. This one's cute. What is this? This is this is a Liz Claiborne LC. It is right at it's about 17 inches. It's dainty. It's really, really pretty. Isn't that pretty? It's not worn. There's the tag. There is no seeable wear. So it's probably closer to about 15 inches and then the extender. So let's put three on that. Okay. Then we have the cat's eye. It's just too pretty. This is an older piece. It does have a lobster, but I think it's cute. It's got little bicone beads there and the cat's eye. Little brown. Isn't that pretty? This is cute. Okay, let's put... Um, this is right at 16 at the shortest. <clears throat> Probably about 15 without the extender. Let's put $3 on this. And we have one that needs some work. I just want to show it to you guys. I can't get that back in to stay, and it's just beautiful. We have a hematite and these silver stations. So I don't know. I'm going to try to work on that one. It's just sad. Um... I think there's only one. Well, there's two left. This one is not marked. This is a gunmetal gold tone, and it's just got some lightweight um, charms on it. The charms are the. We have a butterfly. Butterfly's pretty. We've got a butterfly. We've got a flower there. We've got a rose in the pink, or the creamy pink. There's a little um, plastic, what's that, a little prism almost like. Um, and just some little dangles, dangles. So we'll put three on this. The bronze, the, the um, gunmetal looks pretty good, the tone of it. And it is right at 24 inches. So that would be cute just throw on over a summer shirt. I got it backwards for you. Yeah, that would be pretty. Okay. And last but not least, this is really pretty. This is a beautiful gold tone. It is a quadruple strand. It is just gorgeous. There is no maker mark, I don't think. Is there a mark? Hold on. I don't think so. No. Okay. This is gold tone. Um, spectacular different chains, different types of chains. Um, we have a regular, just kind of a curve chain. Then we have like a snake chain. Then we have this beauty. This is just beautiful. It's like a um, regular chain, a very light chain with the little stations on it. Then we have, like I said, this snake chain. Then we have a Rolo. Then we have a beaded, almost like a popcorn chain here. And they are all together. Very easy to fix if they're, if they're um, tangled up. There we go. Now I'll show them to you this way. They're super long. They're super gold tone. 
So I'm gonna put four on this. It's very long, very pretty. The first chain is about 20. So it goes from 20 and goes on down, okay? It's very, very pretty. All right, guys, we are going to stop at that. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, you can email me. If you want to purchase anything, just comment below. And come tomorrow evening, we will start on the sterling. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. We are kind of stuck right at 393. We only need seven more subscribers till the next giveaway. So I'm hoping everybody has a wonderful evening and a great tomorrow, and we will see you then. Okay, thanks for watching, guys.